peeps, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking you through drafting a curved waistband. Now I want to say I am definitely not an expert, I'm completely self-taught and this came about because mum was following some of my uh, circle skirt tutorials, she was making her half circle skirt and when she'd finished she noticed that her waistband wasn't fitting as nicely as she would like it to be it was gaping slightly at the back so we sort of sat down put our heads together and worked out how we could solve that and the idea the ideal situation would be a curved waistband now up until then i'd been drafting straight waistbands for those skirt tutorials and it was like okay so we'll give this a go and we measured her natural waist and then we measured about an inch up from that because the waistbands that I draft are about an inch and a half wide so we measured just over an inch up from her natural waist and there was about an inch of difference in size so to me that meant that you needed to take the to make the top edge of your waistband smaller and the bottom edge of your waistband your actual waist measurement with these included so that's what we did and it worked, it worked. So I'm sure there are much more technical and professional ways of doing this, but this is what we came up with and I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my 28 inch long and one and a half inch high waistband piece here. Now I'm going to do make mine slightly curved and I'm gonna to keep the bottom edge at 28 and then reduce the top edge to 27. So. I want to do that by quarter inch increments over four spaces on the waistband. So 28, because if I divided it into quarters then there would only be three points, so I need to divide it by five. So 28 divided by five equals 5.6. It doesn't need to be totally exact, but this will give you a good starting point. So I've added four marks in along the top there so I am now going to cut my waistband out and then I'm going to draw a straight line from all of those marks which will just help me with cutting things out in a minute. Great so I'm going to cut my waistband out. So I've cut my waistband out and then I have just, there we go, along the, so this is one of the markings I've made and then I've just made another little mark there, a quarter of an inch over and I've done that on all four of the lines that I've drawn. So I'm now going to use my scissors to cut down to the edge of the waistband but not through the edge of the waistband so that it Hello, are you going to focus? So that it pivots. And what I'm then going to do is just, so the original line, I'm going to move it over to the quarter of an inch line that I've marked there and tape that down. And I'm going to do that on all four points. So you can see there, it's already starting to give a small curve at the top there. So I'm going to do that to the other three marks that I've done. So you can see there, that's the original line. That mark there is the quarter of an inch. Brought it over. So it's it's not very smooth at the moment. We're gonna smooth that out in a minute. So once you have done all of it, you should end up with something that looks a bit like this. So it's not curved. At, I mean, it is curved, but it's not like a nice gentle curve at the moment. There's like jaggedy bits at the bottom. So we need to retrace this to smooth out the curves. And we also need to add seam allowance to it. So I'm gonna put it under. And trace around it. And curve side of your French curve to kind of smooth out those lines. So once you have traced out the original, as you can see, I've not been super, super careful with mine, but now I'm going to add the seam allowance on, so I'm going to be careful with that bit, and then I'll end up with a nice smooth curve all the way around. 
So we're working with 5 8 of an inch seam allowance on this pattern, so you want to add that to every side of your waistband. So, and now I'm going to make a note of here what it is. So it's a 28 inch waistband, one inch ease. It's for me. Today's date. And now I'm going to cut that out. Have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i will do my best to answer them also let me know if you have another method or if you've seen another method that you prefer or that you think might work better i would love to see that so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye